haven't subscribed yet, guys, make sure to subscribe. Everyone, hit your bell button so I can always remind you to stay on top on your daily fitness. So grab your water, set your mind for success, and let's crush this day two together. Let's begin. All right, guys, so again, we have a six blocks and three rounds for each and every exercise. If you don't have the kettlebell, use your dumbbells today. And ready, guys, set your first exercise is the hurricane swings all the way, guys. So bend your elbows slightly and just keep your feet super steady, guys, on your mat and continue to swing. If you do have a back injuries, I want you to go a little bit less, so not as wide, a little bit more shallow. But everyone, you really have to brace your core. This is a super effective exercise, but you have to do it right. So your lower body is super steady, guys, and your upper body is moving using the center, all the power in those abs, your waistline, obliques, and the lower back. Keep your abs braced and keep it strong. Good job, guys. Keep on moving. I want to see those elbows all the way out, outside of the kettlebell or the dumbbell if you use. We're almost there. <sighs> breathe, guys, breathe. Don't ever hold your breath. Your oxygen is your power. And today, guys, for the breaks, we hold in our planks and we're doing the little leg lifts as an option. So leg pulls. This is a great exercise. A little bit less impact. And it's targeting your lower abs really good. Couple more. That's it. Good. We are back for our kettlebell. This is our second round for the hurricane swings, guys. So make sure that you hold the kettlebell or the dumbbell steady, elbows out, and root your feet, guys your feet super grounded into your mat. Good job. Embrace your abs, guys. This is so important for right now to engage your abdominal wall, because this is protection for your spine. Again, if you are a beginner, you can get a lighter weight, right? Kettlebell or the dumbbells, and you don't have to swing so far away. Breeze, guys, breeze. Elbows out and lift it. Don't drop them up here. Keep on working. Elbows gently bent. The more your arms are extended, the harder it is become. But I don't want you to extend them too far because I want you to focus on your center, on your abdominal wall. Come on, guys, keep on moving. Keep on moving, just a few seconds left of this route. My waistline is on fire. Yeah, great abs require a lot of work. Good job, all right. Back to your plank, guys. Leg pulls. This is a super effective one, and it's not as high impact as we do in the rest of the workout, but we're also targeting arms and shoulders here. And what we're doing, actually, we are not dropping our heart rate, which is important. It's only 30 minute workout. So get back to the kettlebell. I'm using 10 pounds today. Ready, guys, set elbows out. Last round for this hurricane swings. Feet, guys, solid on the floor. Solid, all the way. Breathe, breathe and rotate. Good job, all the way, all the way. Good work, guys. Keep on working, do not stop. All right, while we're doing those hurricane swings to the sides, make sure, guys, again, your feet are grounded and you stay tall, don't back bend. Brace your core. Think about successful workout. Come on, guys. Do your best, do your best. No matter what you can or what you can do in this workout and in your daily life, I need you to do your best always. Never give up. Strong people, we never give up. Keep your rotations going all the way. All the way, guys, we almost there. Just a few seconds left. Keep the hips, guys, stable as well. Hips are stable. You've got it. Perfect. Few more reps left. And last one. Beautiful. That was amazing, guys. That was gently and amazing. All right, all the way. Kick it. Kick it, guys. Kick it fully. Kick back. Kick back. Hit it. Good. Strong arms, strong abs. No more fat on those abs. All right. Come on back up, guys. Okay, we are through the round number one. Our second round is the kettlebell 
squat and swing. We're gonna change the arms. What I want you to focus on when you get under and change, get into the abs. Step wider, guys, each and every time. I want to see you getting back up. So that's the fact, those abs. All the way. Breeze. I want you to bend over just slightly to swing that kettlebell under and try to reach farther back, farther back. So you actually target your abs all the way across. Come back up all the way every single time. Good work. And swing. It's just a one minute. Just the one minute, guys. Keep on working. Don't give up. Bend over a little bit and squat. So it's not only your abs, those are your legs, those arms and shoulders. But of course, we target all the way, those abs all the way across, guys. Across, big one. Across. You got it. We almost there. Just a few more reps left. And we're gonna go back into the plank and heel kicks up. Beautiful. So we can't lose our heart rate, so we burn more calories. We want to be in the mid-range, in our 80 percent pile, which is 82, 89 percent max heart rate. It's all different for all of us, but I can tell you how it feels. Come on back up. It feels hard. It feels not a maximum that you can breathe. This is your red, but your yellow is the mid, but it's still hard. Step wider, guys. All the way. I want you to swing all the way under. Nice and low. And give it a big swing. Big swing, guys. All the way. Big ones. You've got it. Good job. All the way under. And catch it. Be precise. You got it. This is our round two of the block two. Breeze, guys. Weight away from your toes. Of course, come back up all the way through. You cross and catch. You're gonna feel it in the midline. All the way across from the bottom of your ribs, all the way towards the hip flexor. Good job. Keep on working. Squat and swing through. Squat and swing it through. Get back all the way up. Just a few reps left. Keep on working all the way. All the way. Almost there. We're going back to the plank in a second. Last one. Ah, good job. All right, everybody, very well. Keep kicking those feet up. Just a few more. Black coats, it comes from our Pilates class for a reason. It has a big impact on those lower abs. Last one. Great work. We are down to the round three for this kettlebell exercise. You ready? I want you to step wider and swing it really under so you feel it across, all the way across. This is our round three. We're gonna do it together. Keep on working. All the way. Good work, down, and across, and down. Come on back up, and across. Let's put a little bit lower, a little bit into those glutes, a little bit more. You got it. Push it through, guys, all the way. We get in there together, all the way down, and down, inside. When you switch the hand, well, that's what you, that's where you actually feel that connection in obliques and your transversal in the front part, in the side part of your abs. Keep on working. Few seconds left, guys. All right, together, finish strong. Finish strong, everybody. Don't quit. Don't quit. Deeper down. Under, under, last one. We got it, okay, second round. Second block is complete. Let's go for the left pulls. One, two, three, four, quicker. Six, seven, and eight. Come on back up. So stay hydrated, drink your water, and we're gonna move to the block number three, which is, is gonna be your kettlebell overhead side to side oblique crunch with the swing under and little frontal crunch. You're gonna know exactly what I mean. So dumbbell overhead or kettlebell overhead and try to catch up on the tempo with me. You ready? Step a little bit wider than your shoulders. And here we go. One, two, swing under. 
Good. Oblique range. Oblique. All the way under. You've got it. One, two. All the way under, guys. One. This is a tough one. Two. I want you to lift, guys, those knees right out of the center. Knees lifting because you're contracting front and side of your waistline. Good work. All the way. One, two. All the way, guys. And one, two. All the way under. Good. Swing under using the center of your body. We got it. Almost there through the first round of this third walk. Go, 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 go. Beautiful. Just a few more reps left. All right, guys, we're ready to go back to our plank. Excellent job. Put your dumbbell or kettlebell back down. Let's pull one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second round. What I want you guys to pay attention is where are you lifting that knee from? You lifting it from? That's right, obliques. Inner and outer. Ready? Set and let's crush it. One. Under swing. One. Two. Swing. Harder, guys. Commitment. One. Two. All the way. And lift it higher. Lift it higher. Kettlebell, guys. Almost behind that knee. Behind. So you really target those obliques. The waistline, the sideline, building that strong, sexy, and lean waistline. Come on, guys, all the way. Push it through. Good job. Almost there. You got it. Side, side. Together with me, guys, do not stop. Don't even sink. All the way under. Good job. Push it through. Side. Side, last one. You got it. Okay, back to your plank for the leg pulls. Only eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Grab your kettlebell. We are up for the round three, guys. Round three of this exercise. You ready? Lean, strong, sexy abs, six packs. Requires some work. Let's get to the job. One, two. And trust me, guys, I know it like no one else does. I have two kids, right? One is seven. I don't know if you didn't know that. And another is five. So trust me, I went through that recovery and I know how hard it is to get it back. But once you got it back, you really have to work on it. All the way out. Don't quit, guys. Come on. Abs are a very important topic for me because I know a lot of you struggling with that. This is a very common place to gain the body fat for the guys and for the women. Keep on working, guys. With me, with me, all the way. I'm here for you, to help you, to guide you, but you have to do the job. Last one. Beautiful, okay. We back on the floor, remember. Just crunches, won't work to get rid of the belly fat. A is overall fat body loss. B, there is a lot of specific exercises. Come on back up. And see, guys, this is your diet. Your abs directly interconnected with your diet. And we can talk about that later. All right, grab the kettlebell again. Your next exercise is gonna be in the plank. We're gonna be doing the kettlebell swing, switch, and hip dips. Let's go. Lift, hip dip. I want you guys to dip all the way through the waistline, switch. This is a challenging one, all the way under. The juices, when you really do the quality hip dip, and then you swing that kettlebell as far as you can. 
all the way as far as you can. So you really target that waistline crisscross. Come on, push it through, team. All the way up. All the way under. Pick up the tempo, guys, with me. I'm not going crazy fast, but you have to pick up the tempo. Come on. In hip dip. All the way under. Good job. Hip dip all the way, swing it under across. I can't stress about even more. So you swing it far away across. All right, ready? Let's go. Leg lift. Good job. Four to go. Four, three, two. We're doing it together. One. Excellent. We have two more rounds of this block four exercises. We call it kettlebell swing under with the hip dips. I really need you to feel the circumference of your abs, of the waistline when you swing it under. Ready, set, let's crush it. All the way under, right here. Reach hip dip, all the way under. Hip dip guys, all the way lift. Now under, nice and big, you've got it. All the way. Good job. Hip dip. And all the way under. Beautiful. Reach. So obviously, that's not just your abs and obliques here, right? This is your arms. This is your legs. This is your full core body work. But again, we're focusing on our abs, obliques, and waistline in this challenge. But you're also going to get the overall body fat loss. Come on, guys. Lift, finish strong till the very last second. Last one. Okay. Great job. Let's go. Only four to go. I'm saying beginners, go on your knees. Go on your knees, guys. This is fine. Come on up. Beautiful. We have one more round left of this block number four. Kettlebell swing, switch under. Okay, kettlebell on the position. Get ready. Don't forget your hip dips. Hip dips out of the waistline. Ready, set. Let's do it. All the way under. Beautiful. Reach, lift. All the way under. Come on, guys. Reach, hip dip. Make sure you do your hip dips. It does not affect, guys, your shoulder. It's a hip dip. It's a not shoulder dip. So keep your shoulders, guys, away from your ears. Come on. With me, guys, all the way. Don't stop, I will tell you when. All the way under. Hip dip. Push it through all the way across. As far as you can drive that dumbbell or that kettlebell. Come on, we're getting closer. Good job, team. Finish strong. All the way. Good job. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Last one. Excellent. Hip. Beginners, knees on the floor if you have to for those leg lifts. Big ones. Three, two, one. Excellent. So guys, congratulations, four blocks is complete. We have only two blocks left, so grab your kettlebell, sip your water, stay hydrated, and we're gonna go, guys, for the kettlebell, sit up, sit it with the knees bent, and the jackknife with the knees bent. Now, this is modification for the, be for the beginners. If you want to go for the full blown one, you're gonna keep your legs extended. We all can begin with legs extended and then downgrade it for the modification for the round second or halfway through. Good job, come on up. Very nice. Again, the same thing if you don't have a kettlebell. You can go ahead and do it with the dumbbell. I'm gonna show you modifications. Sit up with the knees bent and the jackknife with the legs bent as well. I'm gonna keep my legs extended. Good. The rest, guys, through the center in order to get up. All the way. 
Lower back on the floor after the jackknife. Before you get up again. Lower back on the floor. Then you get up. That's it. This is a challenging one. Come on up. We finish it together. Come on back. All right, leg pulls. Let's go, guys. Only eight. And then we're gonna go back on the floor for the sit-ups. Knees bent for the beginners. And let's extend it for the advanced and intermediate. You ready? All right, team. On the position. Grab the kettlebell in the appropriate place. It's kind of helping you to get to your jackknife. Ready, set, we go, let's go. Jackknife, knees bent or extended. Beautiful. All the way. Thumb one up. This is specifically designed for your lower abs on the way up in your jackknife. And a full blown up on the sit up with that kettlebell. If you feel, guys, you really can't get up with your kettlebell or with your dumbbell, just do it without the weights, okay? Come on. All the way, come on up. Don't forget to put your lower back all the way on the floor before you get up back. Bend your knees as a modification towards the end of the minute. Come on up. We almost there. Last one. You've got it. All right, guys. Let's pull. Let's go. Together. Go, guys. Go. Move it. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. We have one more round, guys, of this exercise. You need to begin with your knees bent, begin with your knees bent. Just don't give up. All right, three, two, one. I'm going to extend my legs. Reach. Forgot my jackknife. All the way, come on up. You've got it, guys. It's getting so much harder on the third minute for this exercise. Leave the legs. That jackknife it all the way and again as you can see it's not just your abs or core exercise so it's a lot of arms quadriceps are engaged in order for you to get up your shoulders is working to support you in the jackknife with a kettlebell your upper arms your bicep and your tricep come on guys we're doing it together don't quit all the way. You got it. Breeze, 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 guys. Plus one. Excellent. Put your kettlebell away and leg pulls. Stretching and contracting those abs. Only four left. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Our last block number six. Can you believe it? Plus, is gonna be without the weights, without the kettlebell. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna to go to your downward facing dog, and as a beginner, you're gonna reach your knees in your tabletop, releasing your knees and back to your downward facing dog. If you come in with me, we're gonna go for the full blowing one. Ready? Drop the hat. Let's go. Other side. This is very intense and super effective one, but you really have to do it right. If you cannot do it on your feet, you're gonna do it on your knees. Releasing your knees on the floor and help yourself that way, just like this. Let's go. One minute, it's going to fly by. Target all the way outside across, as far as you can reach. So the waistline is start to burn. Go, 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 go. Almost there. All the way. I want you to almost swing it under. Good. Thrust through the waistline and swing it under. 
few reps left. Last one, guys. Great work. Team plank. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. A few seconds rest for those arms. Second round of this exercise. Ready? Set. And we're going on the position. Let's go. All the way, my friends. Reach. It goes. It's gonna be even more harder in the last minute, but we will do it together. Guys, I need you to return your hips all the way back and release the weight from the shoulders every single time after each and every reach. All the way. Reach. Go back to the full quality down dog. Reach. It cross. You got it. Reach. Cross. Beautiful. Reach. It cross. Good job. Don't quit, guys. We finish together. Let's go. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Pick up the temple, guys, with me. Good. Just a few reps left. You got it. You've got it, guys. Good. Last one, my friends. Excellent. All right, I'm feeling so hot and a little bit tired. We're gonna still hit the last round. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Ready? On the position, guys. On the position. All right, in a second. Three, two, one. We do it together. Okay, leg lift. Get ready. Set. This is the last minute, guys, of your workout. Let's go. Do your best. All the way across. Reach. And all the way across. Who likes the belly fat? No one does. So that's what we're doing here. We're working on it, guys. Come on. Remember your commitment from yesterday? I want to hear after the workout down below how many of you actually taking this challenge seriously and stopping eating dairy and gluten for 10 days. All I'm asking, guys, is a 10 days commitment from you for you to see the results, not only in your absent body, but in your mood, in your energy. Just give it a 10 days. No dairy and no gluten. Come on, finish strong. We do it together, guys. Last one. Excellent. Team, just the last leg pull. Let's go, and we're gonna get to the stretches. One, two, three, four. We did it. Five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Everybody, congratulations. Day two of best ab challenge workout is complete. Now we want to stretch. So today we will begin our stretching with a little safe back bend. So reach all the way up. And reach your one hand towards the opposite heel if you can. If you can't, towards the same one or just put your hands on top of your back. Hips forward, guys, chest up. And back to the other side. Hips forward, chest up. Four, three, Two, come on back. Good quality downward facing dog as a repose with the arms across. Four, guys. Three, two, four more counts, guys. Four, three, two. Come on down on your knees. We're gonna go for a seated forward fold. Very good for your back. Reach all the way all the way forward fold. If you ever have any back pains, just sit for a few minutes in a seated forward fold using the strap or towel, and that's gonna help you a lot. Hold it, guys, for four, three, two, and let's stretch the waistline a little bit more in the lower back. Take your both hands on the floor, and just like you're trying to look behind, but at the same time, hold your both sit bones on the floor. 
and all the way to the other side. Four, three, hold it guys. Two, and all the way back. Come on up with me. Nice and tall reach. Exhalation, reach guys. And one quality exhalation. Fantastic work, everyone. I'm so, so proud of you. And I truly mean it. We're getting stronger and stronger each and every day. If you haven't subscribed yet, guys, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. So again, I can get on your nerve and remind you every single day, stay on top on your daily fitness. Rest well, recover well, and I will see you guys all tomorrow for the day three of the Best Step Workout Challenge.